This right here, this is the internet's favorite taco. Birria tacos, and we're making them. Mm. A few of you had expressed to me that you wanted me to make some recipes that didn't involve a smoker, a grill, none of that stuff. You wanted me to make something in the kitchen, so today we're gonna make the internet's favorite taco, birria tacos. Let's go. We're gonna start with our dry chiles. We got three chile guajillos, one ancho pasilla, about five chile californias, and six chile de arbol. Don't worry about my pronunciation. The foil's gonna act as an easy cleanup for all these seeds. If it makes you feel more comfortable, use some gloves. We wanna remove all the seeds as much as possible. Try to remove these veins if you can. Most of your heat are gonna come from these, chile de arbol. If you don't want it as spicy, just use a few of these. I rub my eyes. Ah! Now we just need to rehydrate the chiles. And we're gonna put them in this blender with some hot water. About two and a half cups of boiling water. Let them rehydrate for about five to 10 minutes. Then go ahead and add in chicken bouillon, garlic powder, salt, black pepper, corns, and cloves. Full recipe can be found on page 12 of my book. My mother-in-law recently went to Nicaragua. She brought back some achiote paste. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon into this. The achiote paste is gonna give you a nice deep red color as well as some uh, delicious flavoring. We're gonna add in a half an onion. Got about eight cloves of garlic. Quarter cup apple cider vinegar. Give it a little taste. Mm, those flavors are perfect. Not too spicy and not too salty. We're gonna add salt at different stages throughout the cook. Now that you have your sauce, set it to the side and let's prep the meat. Today we're gonna be using the arm roast cross rib and it still has a little bit of bone marrow in it. And that right there is gonna add a great dimension of flavor. Foil down for some easy cleanup. A friend in town raises his own cattle and he offered to sell me a quarter steer. I jumped at the opportunity and I have some incredible cuts of beef here. Today we're gonna be using this cross rib and it still has some bone marrow intact. I believe that's gonna give us a nice, incredible dimension of flavor. Pat dry the meat. I'm only gonna season this roast with salt because we're gonna sear it first. And what I don't want to happen, I don't want a bunch of pepper or garlic being burnt during the sear. So I'm only gonna salt this before I sear it. Kosher salt. Press that salt in. I'm just gonna cut this in half to make it easier to work with when I sear it. Today's cook is gonna be super easy. We're gonna do this in our Ninja pressure cooker. We're actually gonna have this meat done in under two hours. Our pressure cooker is warmed up, so now it's time to sear the meat. Fat cap first, just to give it a little oil. We're gonna let this sear for about three to five minutes per side. Now that we got the meat seared, it's time to pour in our sauce, add a couple of bay leaves and a cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. Two bay leaves. And now we wait. Oh, smells incredible. Time to take this meat out and let it rest. That's tender, so tender already just falling apart. Now I'm just gonna set this off to the side until I'm ready to strain the broth, finish up these tacos. Tender, flavorful beef. Let me show you how it shreds. The meat just shreds, it just falls apart. And that's what we're looking for. You gotta taste it. Oh yeah, come to daddy. Mmm, mmm. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> the most time consuming part of the cook is done. Let's cut up some cilantro, some onions, and let's start making these tacos. Mm. Absolutely incredible. Mm. 
Oaxaca cheese. This stuff, when it melts, it gets so creamy and delicious. This is what you wanna be using. Or mozzarella. If you can't find Oaxaca cheese, mozzarella is a great substitute. And now we just wanna strain the consomme. We wanna get all that grittiness out so it's a nice, smooth broth. This right here is our consomme, which we're gonna dip our tacos in after we make them, but we could also use this to make ramen. So if you're following me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you'll see when I post the video, I'm gonna turn this into birria ramen. I'm using these king size corn tortillas by Guerrero. We're gonna start by dipping the tortilla in the consomme. Go in with some meat, cheese, cilantro and onions. Fold it over and let it cook for a few minutes each side to get it crispy. Got our consomme, a little bit of cilantro and onion on top, because I'm gonna drink the rest like a soup. Today we're gonna be drinking Dos Cabachos Mezcal. I know you guys are looking for wood fire and I know you're looking for whiskey. Today we don't have either one, but what we do have is delicious paired with delicious. Mmm. That's the most incredible thing I've ever had. Woo! The internet's favorite taco. Mmm. Woo! Mmm. Taco Tuesday. Taco every day. Mmm. I get the dip. Mmm. I love cooking on my grill. I love cooking on the smoker. I absolutely love cooking outside. But when a few of you came to me and said, hey, we need you to make some stuff that doesn't involve a grill, doesn't involve a smoker, and we need something delicious, I delivered for you. At least I, I, I think I did. Yeah, I did, I did, I delivered for you. Now, if you want this recipe, it's on page 12 of my cookbook. I'll put the link in the description below, and I'll tell you, hundreds of people have messaged me throughout the years saying that they've tried my recipe and they absolutely love it. I love it, so I made it again with a few tweaks, and this time we made it in a pressure cooker. In the past, I've done this on the smoker, I've done it in a crock pot, but never in a pressure cooker. And I'll tell you, I had these tacos finished within two hours. So if you don't have a smoker, you don't have a grill, and there's something that you want me to make, let me know and I'll try to do my best to make something here within my kitchen with everyday items that I think most people already have. I think most people already have a pressure cooker, but if you don't, you could definitely use a Dutch oven, you could use a crock pot, or if you have a grill, just throw it on your grill. There's so many different ways that you can get the meat to that tenderness that you want and that flavor. But let me tell you one thing about the pressure cooker. One thing I noticed in the pressure cooker, there's something about the way the flavors all come together and the fat just starts to break down in the meat. It becomes super tender. All of those flavors just get absorbed into the meat once the pressure is released. At least that's what I think is happening. These tacos are absolutely delicious and they come together super quick. I mean, under two hours, I would call that fairly quick for getting the beef to just shred like that, to just, just crumble in your hand. So as you can see, it doesn't take much to make these tacos. It just takes a little bit of patience and you can have it in under two hours. I hope you'll try this recipe. Pick up my cookbook when you get a chance. And remember, if you like this content, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share it with a friend, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. I'm about to go crush these tacos. Cheers.